time for Freaky Deaky! I was so excited! We got to our Airbnb probably around noon. We got some food. Now we're all ready to go. They delayed the gates opening, so they're supposed to open at 3, and now they're opening at 4. I guess the grounds are muddy from all the weather that's been happening here in Texas, so we're going right now. Today's outfit, it's like a spider look. I don't know, Black Widow maybe? I don't know. But I did the makeup myself, and I did the glitter from Gypsy Shrine. I'm really proud of this, because I don't do much with my makeup ever, so this is great. The harness is from Dolls Kill, and same with this harness. And then I got the row from Forever 21, and the set is from Three Wishes Ravewear. I will link her down below. That's my friend Veronica, and I love the fit of this. I was a little bit worried because I've never done tube top for Rave, but I think with the harness, I'll feel a little bit more secure in here. But I'm so excited. We're trying to catch Porter, Awesome Wonderland, Boombox, Slander, all of those, and I'm so excited, and I will take you guys along with me. But it's gonna be a fun night. Look at how pretty the totem looks. She's listening. Look at how beautiful that totem is. I'm so proud.
ready for day two. Last night was so, so fun. Um, very muddy though, I will say that. Today's outfit, I'm wearing Rolita Couture and Brit's Blossoms. I will link them down below. Chris Lake Day. Happy Chris Lake Day, everybody. I'll take you guys inside. Oh, also thank you to everyone who's come up and found me this weekend. It's literally been so cool, like meeting you guys and like trading and all that stuff. And like, I'm having such a fun time. The totem was a really good idea. It's been so great meeting you guys. So if you came up and said hi, thanks. I love you guys. Thanks for all the support. It literally means the world to me. So love you guys. <laughs> because you just hear Ryan go, oh shit, in that clip. Shit. Totem broke in half. He was like too excited. And so the way that the totem works is that it's connected by this little piece. And he was just so excited about Chris Lake dropping, losing it. I mean, I was freaking out too. That our totem broke in half. And then like five seconds later, <laughs> once the song was like ending, he was like, that song was just too good. That song was too good. I'm sorry. <laughs> It was fine because we could just like put it back together, but that clip is just so fun. <laughs> All right, vlog update. I found out that there's lemonade here. I didn't know that there was yesterday, so that means I have to get the lemonade today, you guys. I will give you guys an update about how good it is. We will see. Thank you. In case anyone cares, the ranking now goes this Freaky Deaky Lemonade, then Electric Forest, then EDC, then Coachella Lemonade. In case anyone cares about my rankings of lemonade, like I care about it. Okay, bye.
This is just how we do, you know? When you sign up to, for this channel, you're not getting ring light, perfect lighting here, okay? It's been a week since Freaky Deaky. I didn't get sick. I was just like exhausted, like mentally, physically, just exhausted. And I think that was because it was like my third festival in a month. I went to Seismic, I went to ACL, and then Freaky Deaky. So I wasn't too keen on getting this footage edited right away and like writing blog posts. Like I literally hit a wall. I was like, I need to take a break. But now we're back and we're getting to this, okay? So Freaky Deaky was great. Everything about it was awesome. Getting to meet all you guys was like so awesome and so great. And as I was editing this footage, I definitely like feel way more connected now to like my why and like why I do this and just meeting so many of you guys and hearing your stories about how like my videos and like my blog has like helped you guys is just like it was just so sweet and it made me so happy. It was really great to meet all you guys and like I had an awesome time. The only thing was it was like super muddy but at the end of the day, that's like one of those things that you can't control. This Godani company that put on this festival, they can't control the weather. <clears throat> and since it was raining so much in Texas, they could only do so much. But like I saw a video of what it looked like before and like the amount of work it went in for them to like fix the mud issue was like crazy even though we dealt with some mud like it was way worse before then so you know what they did their best they did what they could and we made the best of it you know i brought the wrong boots i bought my glitter boots from dollskill ryan and i spent sunday morning just scraping all the mud off of all of our shoes and then they kind of got muddy again you know it's not a big deal like it didn't really affect our time we still had a great time if anything it's just a really funny story watching everyone try and get through the mud <laughs> i will say i felt like production level main stage was great but i think because of how much production went into main stage kind of took away from the other stages like i the crip stage which was the like face dubstep stage it was cool. I really liked last year's design better. And then the rising, which was the house and techno and trance stage was kind of small in terms of like, well, size of the stage and also production. So I felt like that one kind of got like, I don't know, not tossed to the side, but a little neglected in some love of production. Favorite sets from the weekend, planner, Chris, like camel fat porter top four sets but there you go thanks to everyone that came up and said hi having the totem was super awesome because i got to meet all you guys there will be it's called ubi Dooby. that's going to be a festival in fort worth that will be in april i will have a code for that and all the info for that i think tickets go on sale next week so that'll be like the spring festival that's replacing something wonderful for my texas ravers that know that i'm interested to see what lineup they pull out this time because freaky deacon lineup was insane honestly it was very stacked and it was just like the best from like beginning to end and i had so much fun i think that's it for this video i don't know why i'm still talking but up next i have origins coming up and then ryan and I finally decided we are doing Decadence Arizona. So all my Arizona peeps, I'm coming home for Origins in November or in November, in like two weeks. And then I'll be home for Decadence Arizona, which I'm really excited about. And for all my EDC peeps, I am moving EDC week. I know I mentioned I was doing EDC week five with eight edition in November to get you guys prepped and ready to go for EDC. I will be changing that to either December or sometime next year, but you will get that content that I promise. I'm just running out of time. I was gonna do it next week but I'm gonna be out of town this weekend and then I'm gonna be home for Thanksgiving it's just it's not a good time and I don't want to rush 
these types of things. So stay tuned, it'll be coming. As always, subscribe to join the Little Vibe Tribe. I love you guys so, so much. Follow me on social media at Vibe with Aid. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you like my seeing my festival vlogs and whatnot. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.